I'm making this video to try and alleviate some fears that a lot of people have of using HTML templates. <clears throat> they hear that word HTML and they just throw up their hands and they see all this what looks like gobbledygook and they just don't want anything to do with it. And if I can get one person over that hump to where they're willing to try something like this, you open up a whole new realm of the possibilities of being able to, to market online or do anything you want to do to create a website that other people can, can look at. These are called splash pages. They're just quickie little pages. And uh, I'll show you one here that I did. I edited this. It's a, a advertisement for the NetSpin card that shows people how to get 20 bucks for free and then go on and share it with other people and get 20 bucks more every time someone uh, tries it for themselves. Uh, I downloaded a template uh, from a fellow that I met on the Warrior Forum and this is what the template looks like. Actually this file over here is not included. That's one that I downloaded and I'll show you where I got it. But it's the index.html which is this file right here and it's the CSS. If you look inside of there, it's main.css. That's this file right here that controls part of it. CSS is uh, cascading style sheets, and it's the new thing for arranging the content. And then the HTML file just contains the content itself that the CSS can work on. That gets a little simpler if you see what I'm talking about. All right, the, the thing is, you don't have to go into a lot of depth on this. Uh, let's take this main CSS, for instance. The only thing I change on this is maybe the, the background image. If you'll see that uh, this background image right here, let's say I want to use something a little bit different. All I have to do is go over someplace like morgue file, and uh, let's do a search for beach. These pictures on here, or images, are totally free to use, and you don't have to be afraid of uh, getting in trouble with copyrights or anything. But if you can scroll down here, let's let's say I took this one right here, and I already downloaded it, so I'd save a little bit of time, and I put it in that folder right here. So how do I get that ready to put on this page? I use a free program online called Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. You go down here and pick on uh, Pixlr Editor. And I want to open an image from the computer. I'm going to go to my desktop. Go over here where I have the template saved. There it is. God, I'm blind. Just double click on that. There's the image right there that I downloaded. That's that picture of the beach you saw. Now we want to make it the right size, so we click on this button up here to crop it, and we go restrict uh, the aspect ratio, and I want to have it uh, 1024 pixels by 768 pixels. And then I just come down here and draw a box around what I want to save, about that much. And I want to apply the changes. Yes, I just clicked on image. You want to apply the changes. Yes. There's the new image. Now I just go file, save, and I want to call it something else. I'll call it beach. And I'm going to leave that default. Say OK. And I'm going to come over here to my images. And I'm going to put it in here. So I save it. Now I can close this. There's my picture again. So now I'm going to open up that file right there and I'm going to change that where it says back, which is the old image, and change it to beach. And I come up here and save it. File, save. So now I go back to that template file that I had set up and I double click on this index and there's the new picture back there. See how easy that was? And it still works just the same. 
Now, if I want to change any of this text, that goes in the uh, index.html. So I come over here. Let's say I want to say instead of who wants free money, say uh, spend more time at the beach. I'll change it to like the beach. Come up here and file, save. Go back to that page. Click the refresh button. And it changed the text. Same thing with this text down here. All I need to do is go back to that document. And, you know, this reads fairly uh, sensible. It's just text. Like in, if you instead of having this in here and uh, say, Changed it to, would you like to spend more time longing on the beach? Come up here and say file, save. Now when I go back, if I refresh it, it changes the text. This is a video. Let's say I wanted to put a different video in there. Uh, let's go over to YouTube. I'm going to go down here to find, uh, well, here's one about Elvis. My wife loves Elvis. Let's put Elvis in there. Bring the video up. Of course, you'd watch it to make sure it's what you want. Come down here to share. Click on embed. The only part of this code that we need is the link. So we click our mouse right there. I hold the shift key down and push the right arrow. And take this all the way over to there. Okay. I'm going to do a control C to copy it. I'm going to go back to my editor. I'm going to find where that video is right here. I'm going to put my cursor here and come over to this HTTP. Hold my shift key down. Bring it right over to there. This question mark, REL equals zero, you want to leave that alone because that means that the related videos don't show up at the end and ruin your presentation. So once I got that highlighted, I control V and that puts Elvis in there. I'm going to go File, Save. And there's Elvis. If I play that, it'll play the video. By the way, okay, this is restricted, but you, you get the point. You do the same thing. You'll notice that when I take the edge of the browser here and I pull this in, that readjusts everything. So it, it's mobile responsive. This can be used on any size screen that you want. Well, that's kind of it. Uh, you go in here and change anything you want. And as long as you stay outside of these little brackets right here, if these little brackets are what the HTML is and you don't want to mess with those anything that's that those little brackets contain what the text is that you want to show on the screen so you can change the text but don't fool around with these little brackets and unless you know what you're doing and if you want to know what you're doing go over to w3schools.com and there's some tutorials in there that are pretty simple and you can even practice right online uh, take some of those and the more you learn about HTML more skills you have in your toolkit and the more you can do with this. So I hope that gets you over the edge and maybe you're willing to try some of this. Have fun with it and I'll see you online.